Oh, Pisces, Pisces, you are fed up about a home situation. And it is reaching a crisis point in early December at the full moon that occurs on the 7th. You already know what I'm talking about because we've been discussing this Mars retrograde cycle going through your fourth house of home family and how that's bringing up conflicts from the past, old wounds that you've got to work through, and some resentments that you've been holding inside that are kind of exploding now on an internal level. And what's going to happen is these resentments are going to explode on an external level at the December 7th full moon because that full moon is in your fourth house right next to Mars retrograde and it is squaring Neptune in your sign. So I know this is going to be a very stressful full moon for you. Uh, sometimes conflict has to come out, has to happen. You have to throw that tantrum. You have to get into that fight with somebody. You have to call somebody out on their bullshit. And I got to be honest, Pisces, you're angry at yourself because you've absorbed so much for so long and when you keep taking the punches by choice someone's going to keep punching you and and that's the feeling that I'm getting connected to a home and family matter or your relationship with a relative and it's time to stop being the punching bag I think that's the title of your video <laughs> you got to stop being the punching bag and that's going to be happening at this December 7th full moon, it's a big turning point for you. And even though it's conflict, it is necessary conflict to just, you know, take back your power in this area of your life. Okay. So good luck to you with that. That's going to be difficult, but I know you're supposed to be doing it. Now in other news, Jupiter, the planet of expansion and growth will enter your earned income sector on the 20th. And Jupiter is going to stay here until May 16th of 2023, which absolutely suggests that your income is going to increase. You are in a good position with Jupiter here. Jupiter is your traditional ruler. And now that Jupiter is in Aries and in your second house, anything you do to pioneer new sources of income for yourself are going to succeed entrepreneurial ideas they will succeed taking a risk on yourself betting on yourself and your talents and monetizing them now it will succeed you have to have the faith in yourself to do it and execute it and be proactive and you will see the return on your investment in yourself financially i guarantee it with jupiter there now the month is ending with a new moon in capricorn and that falls in your 11th house of friendships, your social area, but also your greatest hopes, wishes, and dreams. And what's interesting about this new moon is that there is five, there are five planets. Half of the sky is going to be in your 11th house at this time. And that means that there's such a concentration of energy that you are putting into this new 11th house initiation matter. Whether it is, I am going to join a new group. I am going to take part in a big collaborative effort, uh, humanitarian endeavor. Or you're going to set your sights on a new hope, a new wish, an aspiration that you're just putting out there into the universe. But you're also going to make some proactive steps in a practical way because this is a new moon in Capricorn. And Capricorn is about structure. It is about strategy. So you are strategically wishing on a star. You are not just haphazardly like, oh yeah, I want that to happen. No, this is a goal. This is something that is very meaningful to you. And you actually have a plan to help make this a reality. And the new moon is a great time to set that into motion. So Mercury will turn retrograde in the same area of your chart on December 29th and stays retrograde until January 18th. And all that means for you, Pisces, is, you know, you may reconnect with an old friend, a friend from high school, from grammar school, college, somebody that you used to be close to might come back into your life and you may have a nice little reunion. It is possible with Mercury retrograde here that you will have a misunderstanding or miscommunication with a friend. But if that happens, you are meant to sort it out and you know you want to be very really clear on communication. You might be reworking a website or technology project during the Mercury retrograde cycle. I would not recommend you launching a brand new website or social media campaign, webinar series, anything with technology. Don't launch something brand new 
even though the new moon on the 23rd is saying, yes, initiate something brand new in an 11th house matter, if it does have to do with technology, understand that if you do initiate it, because Mercury is going to go retrograde soon after, you're going to have to do some revisions and tweaking. So you may want to just hold off and do all that revising behind the scenes before it's public. And then I think it will succeed beautifully. All right, so Pisces, Next year, let's talk about 2023 for a minute because you are one of the signs who is guaranteed to experience massive life-changing shifts, karmically speaking, especially. Saturn is going to enter your sign and I don't want you to be afraid of that. I want you to understand what that means. So I have prepared 2023 year ahead forecasts for everybody and they are general and then there are love forecasts and you can go and check out yours. Click the link in the description box below and I'm giving you 30% off of your videos. Just enter the coupon code that is below in the description box and it these videos will really unpack what Saturn and Pisces means for you and the other major astrology that's happening in 2023 that is sure to affect your world. And I want to help you understand how to use the astrology for your highest good so that you can have the best 2023 possible. All right, guys. So have a healthy, happy, safe holiday season. I will see you in 2023.